Hello all and welcome back to Irish Farm with me, the Walrus. We are now into the lovely, beautiful season of autumn or fall. Where I've started the video up a little bit later as I ran around the farm slapping down pumpkin seeds for two, well, three hours actually. I just came out of the house and just went, seeds. So, one of the things that I want to do this week is I want to reorganize the layout of some of the buildings on the farm. And I'd like to go and do a little bit of work on Ginger Island as well. I've still got a little bit of work to do when it comes to building relationships with uh, Leo. Because he is still the one with the lowest uh, friendship of all of the villagers. So I, I kind of need to sort that out. Because, um, well... I want him to be a better friend. That would be nice. And that would be fantastic. I'm also going to build an upgrade on my sh um, shed to make it a bigger shed. So I can fit more booze makers in it. Excellent stuff on that one. Because why would I not? Now, I've got a large quantity of, well, of what are they called? Uh, star fruit. There we go. And one of the other things, of course, I want to do is get some ancient fruit going. Now, I'm going to try and plant a little bit of ancient fruit on Ginger Island because I'm not sure. I think it can grow there. I mean, it'd be a bit daft if it can't, considering it can grow rare seeds and everything else. So, you know, I, I, that's my plan um, of action for that one, at least. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got some ideas of what I want to do um, and some general plans, I guess, is probably the best way of putting it. Now, one of the things I am considering as well is what else can I actively do um, in the next, like, few days? Because I've planted all the very useful... Um, and very handy, um, what they call the pumpkins. So that should give me a decent amount of ability to get stuck in. And uh, once I grow all the pumpkins, I can then turn them into pumpkin juice, or I can just generally use them all. It's not going to be too bad. I, I've got generally some method to the madness is probably the best way of putting it. And. Yeah, I've got an idea of, of what I need to do. And, um, yeah. I'm going to run around the town a little bit and see what I can do here. I also have managed to grab a quest from Robin, which is to gather the absolutely whopping thousand stone again. So that one's an easy one in the grand scheme of things. It's not like it's uh, too challenging as a task or a challenge to do. Um, now, I'm going to need a lot more iron and a lot more copper going forwards because, of course, I still want to get uh, a lot more of the kegs going. And kegs are going to be a reasonably easy thing to do, but I need wood, copper, oak resin, and iron bars. I have a lot of oak resin already, and I've already got that set up for, like, the production of that going. That's that's not an issue. My issue is really the wood, the iron, and the copper. I know full well that I am going to run out of all of the, um, the wood that I have very, very quickly. I don't even think I have very much left at all, because I have used it all already, which... I mean, it kind of makes sense. So, I'm just trying to figure out what other things that I can do. Other than, really, I, I think the only thing I can do now is to... Um, work out the best way of dealing with it. Which, in honesty, at the moment, is going to be going to the quarry and just slapping all the trees there with tree fertilizer because once I've planted all those trees and I've given them all the fertilizer on them that should give me a decent um, ability to grow quickly enough and well as the name might imply get more wood from all the trees 
So that's uh, the main plan of action on that one, at least. So we, we will see how well that goes, but that, that's kind of what I'm looking at uh, at the moment. Now, I'm not super concerned about trying to organize all that, but, you know, I've got some thoughts going on that one. So we'll kind of wrangle that as we go. Now, the other things that I also want to do is grow a lot more of uh, hazelnuts and plums. So I've got that small section at the bottom of the farm with the sprinklers just so I can grow the autumn wild seeds. So yeah, that's like the, the game plan of this section at least of the farm. And one of the things I'm also generally considering is what else can I put on the farm that will be of use to me? Like, I have to figure that out. I mean, there's got to be some useful things. Ah, jazz, excellent stuff. You can have a presence. That's fine. Um, because jazz is one of those ones, again, I haven't got a particularly high friendship re relationship with her. Well, I say particularly high. It's not as high as other members of the community, which is fine. Now, of course, one of the other things I've also got to consider is I could use the hardwood and turn that into um, regular wood by using the deconstructor. Um, die the wood chipper, sorry, not the deconstructor. That's a very different thing, um, which I can get from Mr. Key. And that, on the other hand, well, that's still very useful. It just has a different application in that it um, allows you to deconstruct stuff and save the most valuable item out of the lot, which, again, that's not a bad thing in the grand scheme of things, is it? Um, because being able to sort that out is kind of handy. As some of the items that you might make might end up not being as useful later on, which, honestly, I've got quite a few items that pretty much fit that bill. I might actually try deconstructing some of the rings, actually, because I'm curious to see what, like, the weapons and rings when deconstructed actually give. Ah, uh, that might be interesting. I mean, it might also be absolutely dull as, as all hell, but it's a thing. It might work. Let's give it a try. But anyway, excellent stuff. So there's Kent, and that's all good. Um, good old Sam playing of his guitar. And, well, looks like Emily's lost to dancing strangely. That's, you know, it's, it's what she does. She enjoys herself, and that's kind of all that matters. She's very much, she really is that free spirit who just enjoys life. Which is not a bad thing. Because being able to enjoy life in... X be happy with what's going down is a good thing and she does obviously look after that parrot um, that she rescues after it injures itself which is very cute and that's very sweet so yeah credit where credit's due Emily's lovely and I think that's the kind of thing there's a lot of lovely characters in Stardew but there are a couple that just make you question your own sanity sometimes. Um, Pam being one of them, Shane being another. As much as I, I do like Shane, I do question his sanity sometimes. Now, what the hell goes here? There's something, but I'm not sure. I mean, obviously there's something, because, duh. But what goes there? Ah, there you are, Leo. I've been hoping you were hiding in your house. Have a mango. Because as we know... Children enjoy a good mango. Which, embarrassingly enough, I don't think I actually ate an um, actual bit of mango, like uh, the actual fruit, not like a preserved, dried bit of one, until I was a, definitely an adult. Which seems a bit strange in many ways, because, well, surely I should have eaten one at some point, but no, no, apparently not. Um, I genuinely cannot remember eating one as a child or anything. So I wonder if I've lived such a deprived life on that one. Right. So, let's see what else we can just quickly pop in. So we've got some iron here, we've got some quartz. That's good. Is there anything else that we need to sort out here? I don't think so. 
pretty much gold on that one. Which is, you know, kind of the big thing. Um, okay, so as you can see here, I've got loads of stone, but a distinct lack of very important things, wood. Okay, well, so we've shipped out everything, which is good, and that wasn't super difficult to actually achieve, which is nice. Um, but that is something that we do need to be aware of when it comes to actually shipping stuff out. Like, is there anything else that we need to work on? I don't think there should be anything else that needs to be. But when it comes to the crafting, there's not... There's not a silly amount of things that I haven't made. But at the same time, I'm just going to make stuff that I know that I haven't made yet. Um, I'm just going to work my way through the pages, essentially, and just try and make sure that that all gets done. Okay, you can't plant fibre seed. Oh, okay. I didn't realise they had to be planted like that. I didn't expect that, to be fair. Um, odd. I would have expected them to just, like, grass starters, just to be able to be slapped down um, on the ground and just be done with them. But apparently not. Again, not the end of the world, just not what I expected. Fair enough, I guess. Okay. Now, I think the general placement of all of my uh, scarecrows is all, is all well and good. I don't have to worry about that, which is nice. But there are a couple of things I'm sort of just debating. Now, I don't remember making a basic sprinkler. So I am going to make a, a bet, like one of those, just in case. I think I, actually now thinking about it, I think I did make one and it was very much of a me being disappointed in the fact that it only does the the base four cardinal directions, where I had assumed that it was more like the quality sprinkler, and I'd just kind of forgotten what the quality sprinkler's advantage was, in that it gave you all eight of the uh, directions of a compass. Well, I say all eight, I mean, because you can do north by northwest and other nonsense. But in the whole northwest, southeast, that sort of thing. So the eight directions, blah, blah, blah. Now, I do think it's been a while since I've made any of the totems. So actually making all the totems to err on the side of caution is probably for the best here. Because that way I can make sure I have actually um, done that all. Which isn't exactly going to hurt as a general thing. Um... So, we'll give that a go. Now, what next? Okay. Well, looks like we're almost the end of, like, day one of this autumn season, which is fine and all. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a thing. It's fine. We might end up with something uh, vaguely more useful, I guess. Um, but we're going to make some more lampposts, I think. I also want to illuminate the house a bit, because I've realised it's quite dark. When I actually think about it. Now, the other one I've got to sort of think about is the fishing lures, because I think I've made most of them. But I'm not sure. So, yeah, I'm going to make some more of these. Um, and just make sure that's all well and done look at that that's just improving the general layout of the house and just making it look nicer because that's really my big my big thing here is i want to make the the house look more pretty and i don't think that's a, a terrible thing to want and i don't think it's going to be too difficult to achieve because if I'm, you know, vaguely sensible about it, I can make sure that the, the house is better lit and it just looks nicer because of its being better lit. There we go. Isn't that fantastic and all? So yeah, that, that's, that's my jam on this one. Okay. What else can we organise here? Well, I'm just, again, thinking about, is there anything else that I can 
make today as part of the crafting requirements that I have to do. Um, I think I must be close to 70 or 80 percent of all of the crafting uh, recipes being done. And we'll just slap that in there and that'll be fine. And that'll just, again, that'll be good because that'll have all of our um, what are they called? You know, when you have a moment, you go, you know what I was thinking? I don't know. The the different foods that we put, like the different fruits that I'm making the uh, the wines out of, it's, it's a bit more organized, I guess. And that's kind of what I'm after. It's just generally organized, not like supremely organized, just a little bit more than I have allowed it to be previously. Okay. I'm also quite impressed with the fact that I've made one of those marble braziers. And I know it's not like the biggest thing in the world to be feeling pleased about, but it was one of the things that was kind of like plaguing me because I knew it was something that I hadn't made. I was just generally concerned that I hadn't made it and it was annoying me. So nearly got all the preserved jars in here, which is good. Um, I don't think it'll be too much longer before I get them all done because uh, I guess the only thing I'm sort of worrying about on this is, um, well, actually I'm trying to think of what, what's the next, it's just going to be getting the coal really isn't it for these ones again not super difficult but again that's something i need to do so i'm going to make some star fruit jam or jelly or whatever it is in this now again i know that's not the most um money spinning because that's really for making wine that's more money spinning but again it's not a bad thing to have really um, because it's it's valuable again and that's really what I'm after at the moment is it's pure pure money right now um, and I don't think that's gonna be super difficult really if I think about it um, to try to work out what's going to make me the most cash at this point in time as wine is a good money spinner I mean we're at 3.2 million so I'm not feeling super concerned with that one the other thing I'm also debating is making myself the other weapons because previously, um, I may have mentioned it, is that I tended to use the hammer rather than like the sword or the dagger. And I'm kind of curious to see what the actual effects of each are when actually using them. Like I've enjoyed using the sword and I think I should try and use the, ha uh, the dagger next. But anyway, I'm just going to run around the house just making some more... Well, teas and coffees, I think is kind of the best way of putting it. I'm just going to make some tea and coffee. I'm going to make some other just general miscellaneously useful stuff. And just kind of hope for the best on a lot of this. Um, eh, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Just, you know, work my way through it all. Make sure everything gets done. That's really what I'm after, is just making sure I can have the farm organized and well sorted. So, looks like we've got a bunch of the sunflowers ready, which is great, because sunflowers are beautiful, and why would we not want those? And we'll just scythe down the rest of this corn, and we'll just get rid of it. Right, we'll, we'll plant some pumpkins here. Now, one of the things, if memory serves, is that... If you plant pumpkins down, or anything that can grow into a giant crop, and they are um, adjacent to one that hasn't fully grown, it still has a, a chance to grow into the enormous version, which is great. Um, and it essentially forces the, the younger plant to fully grow, which is, again, great. And I don't know, honestly, um, what other things you can sort of do with it. Like, it, it that kind of makes sense, I guess, being able to force grow stuff. Um, not 
super bad though. And again, I've got lots of other crops sort of that I want to grow. Now, I'm primarily only growing pumpkins because of money. And that's, I think, a reasonable understanding on that one. It, that, that is my, my logic, is just I'm just going after money for these little ones. But at the same time, if they are iridium quality, I'm just going to sell them immediately. If they are gold, silver, or muggin standard basic, I will just turn them into... Um, into fruit juices or preserves or something they'll get done they'll get used to make um a product that i can then sell and i think that's a reasonable use of my time and effort now one of the other things that i am also debating is what other things do i want to try and achieve uh, before the end of year three I still need to cook a couple of recipes, and I don't know what two I'm missing. I mean, I can see which two I'm missing, and that's not quite what I'm getting at. It's more the knowledge of what those actually are is um, kind of my issue on this one. Because I'm not sure what they actually are. And um, what I need to do to make them. Because I, I just don't know. I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, but I have a feeling I need to wait until the recipe comes available on the TV uh, from the cooking lady, whatever her name is. Marjorie, I'm sure. Um, but the issue I have is I'm concerned they might be a year one recipe or they could be a year two recipe. If they are a year one recipe, that's not as much of a problem. Because, lo and behold, year three is year one in that regard. Because it's just a cycle of one and two. I cannot stress enough how annoyed with myself I will be if I have to wait until year four, like, during the winter, to actually get one. I, I might actually cry. If I've missed one that badly. And uh, yeah, that'll annoy me. So hopefully that's not the case. Because as I said, I might, might just cry. And I don't really want to just turn around and cry. That's not my jam. But that's kind of what I'm considering at the moment at least. Now. Let's slap down some more pumpkins here. That's lovely. Uh, we've got lots of them ready to go, which is fine and dandy. And one of the other things I've got to sort of figure out is what am I going to do with these sunflowers? Now, I could use them to turn them into uh, oil because that's actually something that you can do with it. And I don't think that's very financially viable, however because I think I've already got a stock of oil. But again, I can make oil, I can make sugar, I can do things, blah, blah, blah. Because cooking recipes is going to be a big thing theoretically going forward and what do I actually need to do and what do I need to achieve. Shouldn't be too difficult, though. Now, the other thing I'm considering is the fertilizers, most of them I know I've made. But the thing that not really concerns me so much is that I've definitely acquired some from the bone mill. And I'm not sure what I need to um, make uh, of the fertilizers. I'm pretty sure I've, I have actually made them all. Um, but we will see. I could very well be very wrong. Um, unfortunately, I'm sure there's like a, um, a way of figuring that out. On your display or interface or something showing you that you've made something. I should probably have a quick look into the display settings on that. Because I'd, I'd wager that is a thing. Okay. 
So I've made a bunch of the totems. That's fine. The warp totems are great and all anyway, so that's fine. And um, I'm just going to reorganize this a little bit. Now, because of course I'm growing lots of um, star fruit over on Ginger Island, I know that that's going to be the the main thing that I'm going to try and turn into wine. But again, I'm going to sell the ones that I find that I harvest that are of iridium quality. So I've got lots of this ancient fruit wine. Now I've still got about a stock of a hundred, and I'm happy to keep a stock of about a hundred. Um, what I'm going to do... Oh, good grief, they've all become ready. That's great. This is all just going to get flung straight into sale. Because, well, why would it not? I, I don't need any of it, like, right now, immediately. And, yeah, yeah. It's probably sensible to, for me to do that. I believe there's a little while before the ancient fruit is available again. I think it takes... Is it... 10 days between harvests or something like that. Um, again, could be talking wildly out of my posterior on that one. Um, but if that is the case, it, it's got a cycle time essentially, so that's that's fine. And all. Okay, so we're going to sell those, sell those. I've made a few more of uh, good uh, decent um, things. Now, one of the things that I have noticed is now that I've put down um, tappers, on all of the, well, the large quantity of mahogany trees that I have on Ginger Island, I'm now kind of considering the amount of sap that they each generate. It's not as comprehensive as I had expected. I had assumed they'd all generate four, or sorry, five consistently, but it doesn't appear to be the case. It does appear that they do just randomly create them. So maybe the heavy tapper experiment was probably not wrong to sort of consider, but I'm not sure. Now, whilst I've got uh, Robin building stuff, I'm gonna use the, uh, the wizard to move things. So I'm gonna move these um, coops around a bit because I think that's a sensible choice and once we've moved them we move the barn around a bit as well and I'm gonna just now the reason I'm doing it today is because it's raining and being that it's raining it means the animals aren't coming out which means I don't have to worry about them getting in the way of me trying to place the damn thing down because that is a frustration that I hadn't really anticipated as much, um, but it is something that you do have to consider uh, because, yeah, it's it's very annoying when that happens. As uh, yeah, it just gets in the way, and I don't enjoy it when that sort of stuff happens. Those stupid animals. I mean, bless them, they're adorable and all, but goodness gracious, it is very annoying when they're just in the way and just not being, uh, not playing ball. You know, doing what you want them to do, which is, of course, they're animal. They're not wild. I mean, they are vaguely domesticated, allegedly. But yes, they're very annoying um, at the best of times. Just, you know, getting in the way, doing odd stuff. Okay. So I'm going to have to build a bunch more of these mahogany fences, I think. And I'm going to move these lightning rods around and plant some more... Um, uh, grass starters in hope that they actually provide a decent amount of grass going forward because I don't really think the the grass generation is um, sufficient to feed the animals that I have and I'm wondering if that's just because I'm not letting it grow enough and maybe during the winter that's an opportunity for that to occur or if I'm just being a bit of a twit um when it comes to trying to encourage it. Or if just generally the animals are just eating more than I produce um, or such. Which if they do, if that is the case, that's kind of annoying because that does mean that I have to rely on producing uh, hay from me cutting down fibre or scything through grass or other 
miscellaneous routes of acquisition. So I'm going to potentially look at really uh, trying to figure out if there's a better way of producing large quantities of grass. And one of the other things that I'm also thinking about is how easy is it going to be um, for me to produce... Um, I mean, can I use other parts of the land around the farm to make um, crops and actually have that as a thing? And I, I believe that you can plant crops outside of the farm. I mean, it's the case point Ginger Island farm, but I'm not sure. You definitely can't plant them in the town. Not without mods, I don't believe, because, I mean, there is a mod that allows you to plant everywhere and anywhere, which is fine and all. Now, I'm going to put these lightning rods down, and once that's sorted, then we're, I feel we're pretty sort of well laid out, I think. And uh, that, that, that's, that's good and all, I guess. Um, now, I've sort of got to figure this bit out. So... Unfortunately, it does appear that all of the um, the wood that the, the, the hardwood fences had degraded sufficiently that I had to, unfortunately, actively um, replace them all. Again, I'll live. It's not really the end of the world. It's just a little annoying. Um, but like I say, it's not really the end of the world. And again could be worse. So, now let's put down the lightning rods into the grass patches. Now I know the animals expanse area is just going to be less um, forgiving for them, like it's less land for them to roam around in, but that's fine. They're just virtual animals, it's not really the end of the world. I believe it means that the pigs will sort of saturate a bit more when it comes to the truffles. I'm not entirely sure if they'll sort of like saturate the same area. So I have to kind of have a look at that one. Now, I've selectively placed where I have, where I have, just because it allows me to access all three of them easily enough. And still sort of move around without issue. Which is, again, that's kind of the, the plan here. Um, not having issues. However, sorting that out has meant... That I've opened up a bit more land. Essentially where the barn used to be. And where the fence line used to run. I've now opened up a fair bit more land. Which should be accessible to the Junimos. So potentially that's three more plots of 24 arable land. Which is what? 72 bits of arable land? So maybe that'll be beneficial moving forwards. I mean... One would hope that that would be beneficial. That could very well be wrong, but you know, that's, that's, that's kind of what we're after. Hoping for the best on that one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of what we're doing. That's what we're going for here. Now, well, we've got some mushrooms. Now, the mushrooms themselves aren't really that useful on their own, but they can be turned into the autumnal seed which is very handy and being able to turn them into the autumnal seeds means that I can shockingly enough grow some more things here um, and again try and get more hazelnuts and plums because they're the two primary things that I'm driving towards from these um, areas um, because yes they can grow uh, it's not a sweet pea, because that's a summer crop. What the hell do they actually grow? Blackberries. That's the bugger, isn't it? They grow blackberries, which there is also that blackberry season coming. So that's going to be a nice sort of thing, isn't it? Um, and that won't be too difficult to sort out, will it? Uh, blackberry season will be great. Um, because like salmonberry season, it's not that I'm going to need them explicitly for... Um, purposes of um, turning them into uh, what jams and wine or anything. Although blackberry wine sounds quite nice. I wonder if you could get like a, a blackberry infused mead. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I 
wonder if that would be a, a like that would be a nice thing actually. Once you make mead, that you could have like a a two part keg thing. So you could have infused stuff. I wonder what other items you could put in there to sort of like impart another aspect of like another crop or something uh, into a, a product. Because, I mean, milk, strawberry milk. And actually, it'd be really nice to have a cocoa tree, wouldn't it? You could have chocolate milk. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder what that could be. An, an infuser, just call it that or something. Uh, but it could probably have, like, some alternative uses um, when it comes to, mm, let's say, some of the weaponry. Although there's already kind of that with the forge, isn't there? Um, and that also is kind of for the tools as well. So that would be, that's a moot point for them. But, you know, for harvestable, saleable things, I wonder if that could be a theory, like a theoretical idea that, again, I have no capability of making because my coding capabilities are nil. Um, I still have never done even the Hello World thing because that's not my um, knowledge base. I'm sure I could learn. I just haven't really thought about it. And don't worry, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not going to make it into a segue about a learning program or about, like, try to learn yourself C++ or Visual Basic or something. No, don't worry. I'm not big enough for that yet. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else that would be kind of interesting to see. Because there's still a lot that we don't really know about um, 1.6 as an update. Now, I know I'm not like a, a news reporter of um, Stardew-related shenanigans, so I haven't really got a, a video on it. But maybe I should do do a little bit more research, and actually that would be kind of cool to do a little video on it. But I think that's going to pretty much be it for today's video. I'm just going to grab these diamonds before we do say goodbye. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, do comment because, again, I do like to engage every, any comments that come through. And I'm always keen to see what people have enjoyed in my videos and what they'd like to see more of. And uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the change to my walrusy logo. And, um, yeah. Hopefully I will catch you all again the next time the walrus plays Stardew Valley.